So I'm just doing a cycle tour through the back streets of Kyoto. So nice, it's, uh, it's a really fresh day. Loads of, I've hit the cherry blossom season just right. It's a lovely place. So the person in front of me is the uh, guide. I must have done the whole day, but uh, rain's forecast. People are so polite here as well. See that guy just bowed to me as I bow to him. I've just seen a really nice, uh, huge temple in Kyoto. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay. So we're going uh, over there. I did a video here because it's quite uh, quiet. All right, I'm just going to turn. For some reason I thought it was going to be a much smaller place, uh, but it's not, it's bloody huge, absolutely huge. Cow Parsons coming out now, so hopefully it'll be the same back in the UK when I get. Oh no, it's not Cow Parsons, it's Wolf Farm, isn't it? Oh, wherever it is. It's really nice cycling in another country, and strangely, you know, instead of just going out cycling where I live, uh, everything's interesting and different. And fresh. Food here is amazing. I just can't believe I thought I was really going to struggle with enjoying the food because I don't eat seafood. But there's, there's so much and God, it's so delicious. Best fried chicken I've ever had in the world. Alright, we're moving. Oh, hello again. <laughs> okay, there's some other people that were at the tour. Uh, okay, stopping. Just for a short stop. Sure. Okay, because I will talk about this in a different place. Please be quiet, please. Okay. But let's have a quick look. Uh, this is Miyagawa town. One of the five desert towns in Kyoto. Is it alright to video this? Yes? <laughs> okay. Is that okay? <laughs> okay? I would not. I will, I'll just video <laughs> you. Mm -hmm. I will, just talking. Okay. So, uh, may I talk? Please, please. Uh, and you see a black sign. That is a special license certified by the government to own to own a tea house. Tea ah. house doesn't mean cafe. Originally, it was just a tea house to serve tea and Japanese sweets to customers. But there were more and more tea houses. The competition became more fierce to attract more and more customers. 
Geisha service started. Ah. The origin of Geisha town. Still now, their stage house is called Tea House. And there are two names of Maiko. Maiko is an apprentice Geisha. Oh, okay. So, kind of dormitory. Maiko House. And also Tea House. Stage House by Geisha. It's not open to the public. Uh, kind of club members. Oh, you have to. Uh, can foreigners go as or just Japanese? Mm, if you have some. Uh, uh, you need someone who has a connection of this. Ah, uh, right, okay. Mm. And these are the two micros there? Oh, this is just a poster. Same one. Oh, I see. Look oh, okay. There is also a black sign, so tea house and one trainee lives here. Right. And on the roof, here and there, there are these statues named Shoki. Originally Chinese guardian deity. According to Chinese legend, Tang Dynasty Emperor became sick while he was sleeping. Shoki appeared in his dream. Next morning, he, when he woke up, the emperor was healed. Since then, Shoki has been considered to be a guardian deity to protect you from sickness or evil spirits. Ah, okay. The idea comes from China. But I'll talk about the geisha in a different place soon. And also, you walk around uh, Guillaume, the biggest geisha town. So you have more chances to see. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's go back. So today, let's get back on. Stand up. Okay, we're stopping again. This is the theater and school for Geisha. From uh, up to today, there, there is a dance show performance by Geisha. Ah. So they are. Oh, they're Gaze buying tickets. tickets. Mm. Is it very expensive? Mm, I don't, so, 4,000 yen or something. 4,000. Okay. cheaper one is available. Mm. Oh, right. Kyoto has five Giza towns. So, each town has a show. Okay. 
I have a walking device there. I had quite a big breakfast and I'm hungry again. Sorry, all over the place then. Oh, there goes my tyre. So he brought back the seeds of tea trees and planted and oh. spread the culture of drinking tea to Japanese. It was uh, 800 years ago. He was a kind of medicine or tonic first. Later it was developed into a common beverage by great tea masters like Senmurikyo. And a Zen Buddhist temple has sometimes a gate with three spaces between pillars. If you pass through three spaces, which will release your mind from too much desire or too much clingness to something, or judging from just the outer appearance, they say. Now, we are very close to the biggest geisha town, but it's very busy. So. If you are going there, I'll talk about Geisha. Okay. Geisha is called Geiko and Maiko. They are professional entertainers. They have good manners, sing, dance, and play several musical instruments. Maiko is an apprentice Geiko, trainee. So they live with a landlady or a house mother in a micro house and they learn how to talk and how to behave properly from their landlady. Also they go to a school to learn so many other subjects like tea ceremony, flower arrangement, calligraphy. Their training is very hard. Each geisha town has its own uh, own theater and school for them. After four or five year training, they become independent as they go. And they leave their landlady's house and they live in a condominium or apartment in the neighborhood. As long as they are active, they can continue to work however old they are. Oh. <laughs> now in Kyoto, three or four geiko are over 90 years old. Really? Do you believe? Wow. They are excellent at their arts and they know everything about their regular customers. In such a case, they don't dance, maybe musician. Right, <laughs> okay. <right>. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and there are many differences between them. Ah, each town has 200 applicants every year. Very popular. And wow. many girls want to be an elegant, beautiful geisha, but uh, the reality is too very hard. 
Very hard. Mm. Hard training and also one of the most difficult things for girls from other parts of Japan is to learn Kyoto dialect. Kyoto dialect? Mm. It's a must. It's one of the most attractive elements. Ah. For example, do you know thank you in Japanese? Arigato yeah, 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 yeah. In common Japanese. But they say, oh, kini. They say? Oh, kini. Oh, kini. Kirk, oh, kini. Oh, okay. So there's, there's, a, very, there's a very different uh, mm. way. Intonation is very difficult, very different. And when you enter a restaurant or a shop, usually they say, irashai, irashai mase. But they say, With artistic sisters. Wow. So, lack of privacy is one of the main reasons so many girls give up. Late, late. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's not <laughs> my way. Oh, terrible. Yeah, yeah. Like Goodbye. someone, right? Uh, yeah, I can imagine. Wow. Mm. But they are very beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, after one year training, they'll start to work as my co. Right. Mm. To become a geiko, four or five year training is necessary. Uh, but a geiko is a geisha. Mm, yeah. uh, both are geisha. Ah, mm. oh, so the maiko is the trainee, the geiko mm. is the mm. finished, uh, the, the full and geisha. And they train themselves whole, whole life. Whole life. Yeah, ah. yeah. But more professional. Right, right. And uh, there are many differences between them. They are younger, uh, more ornate. Kimonos, shoes are different, yep. but one of the big differences is their hair. Right. It's her real hair. It's a wig. Ah. It's made by a professional hairdresser, ah. which requires special skills or technique. Yep. So they have to keep their hair as it is, at least for a week wow. or more. Wow, wow. <laughs> so they can't their hair freely. Ah, sorry. Ah, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah. And uh, imagine they sleep, they use a special pillow on their oh, yeah. neck wow. to keep their hair. <laughs> oh my god. And that would with be this, really hard. during the daytime, they take lessons. They work at night. Yeah. So during the daytime, uh, with this hair, t shirts, pants are very strange. <laughs> so they wear casual kimono. Right. And uh, no makeup or little makeup. Okay. And uh, around five o'clock, they change kimono into a gorgeous one, and they wear heavy makeup right, right. for their performance. But for them, without a wig, they can wear anything during the daytime. Ah, uh, so you wouldn't know. Mm. You, you could walk past one who, yeah, someone, yeah. and they could look like... Mm. Uh, but the atmosphere tells me... Uh, <laughs> oh, you can tell by yeah, their yeah, yeah. style, their class. Mm. Uh, be behave, how to move. Ah. <laughs> very elegant ah, and sophisticated. Ah, okay. But they are very proud of themselves. They are respected as a living artwork. Ah. So, they say, Maiko and Geiko are married to their art. Ah, which means they should be single. Oh. Mm. If they want to get married, they have to quit this job and return to normal life. Really? Very strict to do. Wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> That's very interesting. Thank mm. you. Very, so very let's interesting. go to the biggest geisha town. Okay.